Hi team, Danielle here at Vine Skills. I'm gonna walk you through the process of managing calendars in Filevine. So there are two types of calendars in Filevine. There are the projects calendars, which we'll go over in a second, and there is the user calendar, so your user calendar. To access your user calendar, you're gonna go up to this top uh, user bar and hit that calendar icon right there. You'll see over here, to the left, we have a few different items. So we have Google or Office 365. So Filevine integrates with Google Calendar as well as Outlook and Outlook Calendar. So you can sync your uh, Google or Outlook Calendar with Filevine by going to the three line menu up here, heading over to setup, and then selecting which calendar uh, you have. And then once you click it, it will uh, bring you to a new window to kind of log into your Outlook or your Google Calendar. Once you log in and authorize access, it will show that you are synced down here. And then you can head back over to your calendar icon and it will take a little bit, but your um, Google Calendar or Outlook items will eventually be reflected here in your file when user calendar. You'll also see over here that it has appointments and deadlines. So appointments are items that you create in Filevine, um, whether you do it in a project or you do it here on your user calendar. And then your deadlines are uh, from deadline fields, like a statute of limitations deadline field, or maybe an item from a deadline chain. So all of those deadlines on a deadline chain will be reflected on your calendar, so long as you have this checked off here. You can view your user calendar in a few different ways over here in the top right corner you can either view it in a month format week format day or a list format you can automatically populate so if you're over here in month and you toggle maybe to june you can use the today button to click back over to today you can also select other years days months by this uh, tool right here and then you can also create an event here so let's do test you can select a project which is required you can choose to do an all-day event or select a day or multiple days and you can add those times you can include a location and then also a description. If you do time and billing and track your time, you can go ahead and click that on and add your time and billing item here. And then this is also required, you have to include some attendees. So you have to be included on the event or someone has to be included on the event. So you can go ahead and use the at symbol to find them in this list. And then you can go ahead and hit save. And that's how you create an event in uh, Filevine. If you've sunk your calendar, then any events you create in your Filevine calendar will be reflected in your Google or Outlook calendar. That said, we do recommend you have one source of truth. You cannot edit events in one um, platform that have been created in the other. So for example, if you have created an event in Outlook, it may sync here in Filevine and you might see it on your calendar, but you will not be able to edit it. You will only be able to view it. We also recommend you having one source of truth and that source of truth being Google Calendar or Outlook, um, as there are many more options in the, for calendar management in those applications versus Filevine. Filevine is more so you can see your calendar in Filevine while you're working on your projects. So it, it serves as a good reference point to be able to see all of that one place. So the next thing we have are um, our, also actually, while I'm at it, <laughs> if you go back over to setup, you can also share your calendar with other teammates. 
So when you sign on, I'm not going to do it here, but when you do link your calendar, it's also going to ask you if you want to share your calendar with anyone else. And you can do so right here. It will be listed here. Now that we went over our user calendar, let's head over to a project so we can go over projects calendars. So every project, nine times out of 10, is gonna have a calendar section. This calendar section is gonna be the calendar for this project specifically. So again, you have a few different items of viewing it. You can do it via list, via month, week, or day. When we head over to the list, you'll see here it says go to first event. So it will always bring you to today and after, but if you hit go to first event, this happens to be the first event. Let's go ahead to another project that might have some more items to show you. So you can see here there are plenty of events in this project. If I hit go to first event, it's going to bring me all the way to the first uh, event in this section. This also includes deadlines, so again, anything that would be on your calendar or on the project calendar here. You can view your uh, items here. When opening these up and looking at these deadlines that appear here, you'll notice some uh, items in parentheses, and that's where this deadline is coming from. So this is coming from the ad hoc deadline section right here. But if we went over to maybe this one, this is showing us that this deadline is particularly a part of the trial uh, deadline chain. To create an event here, if you're choosing to do so in Filevine, you can go ahead and do uh, what we did before. And we can go ahead and hit save. We see that our event pops up here, and if we wanted to edit it, we could because we created it here in file one. It's also important to note that if you are an attendee on a project, you will receive um, deadlines if you have them shown with the deadlines check mark in your user calendar. You'll see them on your um, calendar if you are subscribed to that project and you have the deadlines toggled on. For events, you have to be an attendee of that event in order to see it on your user calendar. And then if you go to the project calendar, you'll be able to see all of the events on that project calendar and all of the deadlines regardless if you're subscribed and regardless if you're an attendee. And that's how you manage your calendars in Filevine. I hope this was helpful.